We want to bring you this special story tonight. What started out as a simple errand led to a series of doctor's appointments for a local woman. Amanda Fay shares her story that includes some persistence and a stunning recovery. Now serving, I went to renew my driver's license. I was a little late on it um, in August of 23 and um, failed the vision exam. Not only did Megan Russell fail the vision exam, she was legally blind. This eye, 2,400. 400? Yeah, didn't know there was such a I thing. I didn't either. A far cry from 2020 vision. From there, Megan would see her eye doctor who referred her to a retinologist. She'd have a procedure for a macular hole. Followed up with him like every other week and still was blurry. So she was referred to another ophthalmologist who'd remove a cataract in a second procedure. Still no improvement. Next, she'd be referred to a neuro ophthalmologist who'd eventually recommend an MRI. I'll never forget it was June 7th, two days before my birthday, and I went to have the MRI done and got came out of the dressing room and the text said, um, you need to go over to the ER. The radiologist read your results already. You're an easy patient. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she met Mercy Health neurosurgeon, Dr. Sean Shin. And what she has is something called a giant olfactory group meningioma. So typically they're, they're large, uh, but hers is giant. Anything bigger than five centimeters is considered giant. It was the size of a navel orange. Giant, but luckily benign. Still, it would have to go. It looks like a cauliflower. Here is the middle of the brain, the brain stem. The optic nerve is right behind this tumor. Dr. Shin says there are two ways the surgery could have gone. He says many doctors would opt for a two-part procedure to limit traumatic brain swelling, but it would come at the expense of Megan's sense of smell. I don't mind taking more time. I don't like to use those retractors to hold the brain out of the way. So I take more time and be much more gentle, gentle to the brain. So it takes a little more time. And by more time, 13 hours in the OR. Megan was on board, but she had one question first. My daughter got my best friend and I tickets to the share show tomorrow for my birthday. Can we still go? And they're like, well, of course. <laughs> The surgery went beautifully, and four months later, Megan is on her way to getting her driver's license back. It's a long incision. I was reading the clock across the hall from my room. I was reading everything on the television. As of last week, her eyesight in the bad eye returned to 2040. It, it is a challenge. I know it's going to be a tough case, but at the same time, I was excited to help her. She was blind from the tumor, and I know what we can get her. So I was just so excited to get that outcome. Megan is grateful for the care she's received and calls herself truly blessed. But I still had one more question. I have to ask, how was the share show? It was wonderful. <laughs> Reporting in North Toledo, Amanda Fay, WTOL 11.